Hey guys, good morning. So you got the new ICOM 7610, but the software programs just aren't ready for it. Well, Amateur Contact Log is a different story. It's real easy to connect to the 7610. And if you're a fan of FL Digi, you can log FL Digi contacts right into AC Log. Okay, I'll have an article on my website shortly with a little bit uh, more detail, some pictures, and some text that'll walk you along getting N3FJP's amateur contact log connected to the 7610. But I'll show you what I got right here. I'm going to assume that you're familiar with uh, these software programs. You've been using it a while. The 7610 isn't really an entry-level radio, so I'm just going to assume that you've been using these programs for a little bit. Amateur contact log, I've got version 5.9. I'm going to go up to settings, and then down to the rig interface. And I was using the ICOM 7300, and boy, it was just real simple. All I had to do was go down here and change the CIB address to 98 on both sides and then hit test it started pulling the rig and it pulled the frequency and the mode right up so I didn't have to change anything in here I'm using COM6 that's my CIB cable and it's set at 19.2 didn't have to change anything in here just the numbers to 98 and test it it started polling and it's good to go so to get N3 FJP's amateur contact log talking to FL Digi what we need to do is go into settings and then down to the API the application program interface click on it and all I have to do is check this off. I already had this checked off, but I'll show you if you haven't. Check this off. The port is 1100. You don't have to touch anything down here. Just click done. So I've got amateur contact log running. Frequency showing up. Now even though I'm in USB-D1 data mode, or data mode 1, it's going to show up as single sideband. Uh, let me pull up FL Digi. Okay, I've got FL Digi pulled up, the latest version 4.0.8. And let's get it configured for amateur contact log and some rig control. It's real simple. Configure, contest logging, and you'll see in 3 FJP logs. I'm going to select it. Bring the window over so you can see it. Didn't have to touch anything in here. The port, if you remember, was 1100. I select connect. Enable data stream. And push to talk. Uh, I also have checked report the actual modem RF frequency. That's it. Click save. And close. You notice the, the first time that you do this, the frequency may not show up right away. You'll just have to turn the tuning knob on your radio just a little bit to get it to, uh, to come up. So it may take a second or two, but once it does, you're ready to go. So I've got FL Digi going, and now I'm going to make some contacts, and I'll show you how it logs into AC Log. Okay, let me see. I got somebody calling CQ here. Let me click on him. Get his call sign in there. And then give him a call. Got my radio set up for 40 watts. PSK 31. Everything looks good on the radio. Low SWR. Very little ALC. Let's see if he responds. Oop, I guess I just missed him. Let me try it again.
Okay, let's see if he comes back to me. Oh, there he goes. He's coming back to me. Okay, let me uh, start a QSO with him. And that'd be Randy. He's up in Kentucky. We're down in Kentucky. This information comes up from QRZ. It's configured in FL Digi. See if he comes back to me, see what kind of signal report I get. Well, didn't really get that. I'm just going to put in a 599 or ask him again. Okay, he's going to send it back to me. I'm going to send him my uh, frag file. And then just ask him if he can send my uh, signal report again. I'm using a high gain tri bander, two elements up, uh, I don't know, about 25 30 feet, closer to 30, I suppose. And it's uh, pointing east right now, so not directly at him. And the 7610 put out 40 watts, just uh, about six or seven bars on the ALC. Boy, this 7610 runs cool. I'm not sure if you can hear the fan. It's pretty quiet. And it runs cool. The receiver is excellent on this radio. Oops, boy, I'm losing him. Okay, 599. Good deal. Yep, starting to lose him. Let me turn on the preamp, see what happens. Yeah, that's a little better. Yeah, he's starting to fade away. Well, he, he was coming in good at first, I think. Oh, well, let me see. I'll go ahead and send him a, a 73. And just put it in there. Uh... Okay, so I made the contact, and as soon as the call went into the field, it pulled up his information. All I had to do is change the name. And now I'm ready to log it. I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, save. And it logs right into N3FJP's amateur contact log. See the correct mode. Ban. Puts his name in there. Wow, I love it. It's great. If you have any questions or comments, please make them below. I hope this helps you. I hope you find it informative and useful. Please visit my website, www.k0pir.us. I'll have an article on there 
and like I said uh, give a few more details some pictures if you have any questions about how the 7610 is set up in its menu just uh, put a comment below please remember to like subscribe and share thanks for watching 73 and good DX